Hey everybody, this is Jason and welcome to Hello RC. Today I've got the SCX6 on the table here. Um, recently I was contacted by Josh from Missouri RC Crawlers and he makes a lot of 3D printed foams for his tires but he does not have an SCX6 so he offered to do a prototype 3D printed foam for my SCX6 so we could try it out on our crawler course. Please check out Josh's channel, Missouri RC Crawlers. I'll put a link in the description. But anyways, he sent me this prototype foam and it's pretty awesome. It fits the wheel almost perfectly. I think once I get it in the tire here, it's gonna look really good. It's gonna fit really good. I'm gonna run this tire sealed they're vented from the factory, but um, I really don't like vented tires. So I'm going to seal this one up, try this foam out. It's going to be on the right front. So if you want to watch it on the crawler course and see how it performs. So I brought Liz with me and she has no idea which tire has the foam in it. So she's going to drive this thing out here and abuse it. You're going to sink it. I don't know if it's waterproof or not. <laughs> you don't want to go swim this? No, I don't want to get in there. Does that mean it goes back to low? It's either high or low gear. It seemed like you had a little too I much wheel speed. I just used it like five times. Is that better? Oh, there. Now you're in crawl. That seems a little better. I'm not telling. Let me get a picture of that. Uh, look at it. Come back. Look at that squish. Yep. Uh, someone's gonna break the axle. Yep. Let me try it on I don't know if that's the tire or not, but that's a lot of squish. Is that what we were aiming for? A little squish? No, we want more support. Yep, it should, it should roll a little less and have some more support. That's what we're aiming for. I thought people wanted more squish. Well, you want a combination of both. One thing we talked about when we were texting is he thought it might be a little soft that we might need to make a firmer foam. Which may be the case. Well, I don't know what's wrong with the squish. I 
thought it crawled really well already. It does, but you want a little support when you're side hilling and things like that. You want squish, but you don't want it to roll too much. Oh, that's a pretty crawl of it, my dear. That was good. good. Crawl. So, like, see, there's a lot of squish here. Are you enjoying crawling this thing? Because you don't crawl it very much. It's really good. It's a beast. Yeah. It is good. So I can't tell. I can't tell. Like I don't want to put my money on even tires. Oh, that's a Look at that. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at the other side. I'm going to do that with the other side. Okay. to the other tire. on film since you're driving in your pajamas. It's fine. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at that. Look at that squish. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, jeez. Okay. Can I touch them? Yep, you can touch them. But I won't touch the others, so I don't even know what they felt like before. This one definitely is airier. That one sounds like... Mm -hmm. But this one has no sound. I think it's this one. Yeah. You're right. That but is. It, it has the same amount of squish. Yep, so maybe they do need to be a little firmer, but we'll let Josh... It definitely sounds better than this. Well, these don't have that noise. So if I would have touched them all, I might have picked that front one on the left. Yep. But the right front... Why does that one sound so weird? It's vented, but I don't know why. That only that They're, side's vented? This right front is sealed now, but the rest of them are all vented. I don't hear they may here. just have dirt or water or whatever in there. Okay. So, maybe a little firmer here, but let's crawl it around and just do some hard crawling and see what it does. But I like them kind of soft, don't you? Yep. Right. I don't think there's anything wrong with these tires. Are these good tires on here? Yeah, I don't think they're bad at all. I'm totally happy with them for stock tires. Yeah. Usually, usually give you 
not good stock tires. Yeah, but these are actually decent, but I don't know if it has to do with the weight of the truck. Yeah, and the weight. 25 pounds will help your tire. That was good. I saw those guys. Yeah, they're awesome. Well made. Beating it up. What? The truck. What? <laughs> what? No, you're doing good. Yeah, that's definitely squishy. Squishy on the Yep, you really can't account for how heavy this thing is without having one. It is 25 pounds, and then with the batteries and Probably the water that's in some of the tires is probably 27, 28 pounds. Why is there water in the tires? Running it in the creek. When did that the one I put the foam in had a little bit of water. Well, it was damp, anyways. Yeah, but that's why I'm going to seal them all. I'm going to take them apart and seal all the tires. Put a bunch of grease on it. it. Yep. I usually oil it every time, but seems like it's like a long you gotta it. Yeah, you can't really get into the tires though. Oh, look at that. Yep, pretty awesome. Not much stops it. Yeah. What are you saying? You want one for Christmas? No, this one's mine. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this one's mine. No, it's not. You'd look good driving a silver one. This is definitely mine. Or maybe they'll make, you know what would be awesome? Is if they made the C10 in this truck. This size. Wouldn't it? Liz is concentrating. But I don't think I'd be buying it since they're so expensive. Yeah. One is plenty to have. Here. Yep. Expensive. How much are they? They're like eleven $1 hundred dollars. Stupid money. Yep. Definitely like Christmas type stuff. Yep. You can just buy this for you. Just have Christmas. Right? Uh huh. <laughs> Into it, it was Halloween. Off Christmas time. We bought it for Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> like as much as a Check it neck. out here. It's like as much as a beautiful necklace. That's right. At least you use the crawlers. I don't know. No. I have one truck. Amount of a necklace. Yeah. A nice necklace. Mm -hmm. A toy. Some people may offer a necklace. You hear that? That's uh -huh. gonna be close. Did you hear that? Oh, I have it. Yeah, I hear you. I'm just ignoring it. Yeah, you're driving my truck. No. <laughs> you're catching the squish on the side of the... Yeah, right now the other one looks like it's almost flat, and this one's going better. Oh, that's pretty good. 
I think it performs fine. I think the track performs fine. It's definitely oh, holding up every bit as good as the stock down thing. Down here on my toes. I don't have to worry about it getting waterlogged either, so that's a good thing. Shit. Well, knocking rocks down the hill. Definitely is getting the job done. Oh, jeez. Oh! Doggone it. That was close. You can do it. on grass and soft dirt so I'm not too worried about it. It's like a giant pig. Yeah. God, that thing is just crazy good. Mm -hmm. And we do have some aluminum parts coming for it too. A whole set of aluminum parts that we're going to try out for somebody, but that's probably several weeks away. Might tip fried rock over. All right, there it is. Thank you, Josh, for sending us this foam to test. And don't forget to check out his channel, Missouri RC Crawlers. This is Jason. <laughs> this is Jason and Liz. If you like this content, please subscribe and thanks for watching. <laughs> That was scary. Now you can flick it in this second here. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Wanna go jump it over some jumps? No. You don't okay. have a big enough jump. <laughs> oh, jeez. Dang, give it. <laughs> look out, tree. Yeah, look out, tree. <laughs> <laughs>